Hey there guys, welcome to Recombo, Basil here. Today we're taking you through a quick tips and tricks for the Sony Xperia S. The Sony Xperia S is the latest flagship handset from Sony, sporting a dual core processor, 1.5 gigahertz, a 720p 4.3 inch display and a 12 megapixel camera. There is a lot to love about this phone, no doubt. That said, we're here to make you love it even more. What are widgets? Well, they're kind of like shortcuts. Now a shortcut, as you can see, will take you straight through to an application. These can be placed onto your home screen by pressing add, and you can see shortcuts. Widgets, on the other hand, are a little bit more dynamic. You can see this power saver widget up at the top. It indicates what power saver options we've got turned on. If we tap through on it, it expands and really, really attractive animation shows us exactly what saver widgets, we, what power save options we've got on, sorry, and it also lets us turn off others. So if we click roaming, we can access our data roaming. Otherwise, it'll act like a toggle. So if we want to turn off our GPS, we can just toggle it. There's another really cool widget on the Sony Xperia as provided by Sony, and that's the weather widget. As you can see, it literally unfolds in front of you. Now this is much, much more appealing than the website version. As you can see on AccuView, AccuWeather, sorry, it's a very dry UI and isn't that integrated with the phone, requiring you to go into a web browser, whereas this updates automatically. You can control a range of settings around it and it looks very attractive. There are some other cool widgets as well, such as this photo viewer, which we've seen before on other um, Xperia's. That said, uh, the main ones which we enjoyed were the power saver and the weather widget. As you can see, we've got four icons here, and they're all kind of related and we can move them around. They're all about reading. We've got our Kindle app, DC Comics app, the Guardian app, and the Playbooks app, which is effectively Google Books. Now, if we want to combine them, we can literally just drag and drop them on top of one another create a folder called reading, done, and we can now throw all of them into this folder. Now while you've been able to do this on Sony Ericsson phones for a while, the Sony um, UI has now been adopted into Ice Cream Sandwich. One of the features of Ice Cream Sandwich everyone loves is it's dragging and dropping and we're just here to show you, you can do it already even though the Xperia S hasn't got Ice Cream Sandwich just yet. What you can also do is you can drag and drop folders from your bottom dock, so you can make a whole host of options really easily available. Now, you may not be able to see it, but we've had a few knocks on our Sony Xperia S, and the screen isn't Gorilla Glass. It does comprise of Sony scratch resistant technology, but we can assure you from our personal experience, this is not as hardy as Gorilla Glass. It still does a good job, but if you want to be super, super careful, just get a screen protector. The camera on the um, Sony Xperia S is fantastic. We can jump into it very quickly and show you. We've got touch to focus active now. So if we get our little pink lady, touch the screen, it'll focus on her. That said, there's a much better focusing system on board here. You've got, if we take it out of it's automatic, go into normal. So what we did there was just go into normal mode, which gives us some more options. We can actually select our focus mode. We can do this by pressing menu and then focus mode. You've got single autofocus, which gives you one point to focus on. And this is quite nice and quick. You can half press the camera button and that focuses. And if you full press, it'll take the picture. Our preference, however, when we wanted to be more general with our shooting was multi autofocus. As you can see, this highlights the points which are being focused upon specifically. It's the quickest form of capturing we found and produced the best images available. So we can just really quickly zoom in on an image taken on the device. And as you can see, you've got some really stunning levels of detail there. Another thing which is great about the Sony Xperia S is the shoot from lock. This is called fast capture. 
So if we have the device locked, we can press the, uh, the capture button. As you can see, it's literally just instantaneously captured the shot. And again, it has a minuscule amount of time to focus and yet it generally achieves a pretty respectable shot. Tip number five is all about sharing, but not in the standard share function way, where you just share it with a third party application. No, tip number five is all about sharing it to say a TV or another device. One way you can do this is using the onboard micro HDMI cable. As you can see, it's all very nice and simple to access and it's literally just plug and play with the Xperia S providing a bespoke UI when you do connect the two together, that is an HDMI uh, cable and the Xperia S itself to a TV. The other option is sharing via DLNA. If you don't know what DLNA is, it's using your wireless network to share media content. If you press menu when in a picture and then press play on, you will actually, if you're connected to a wireless network with other DLNA devices on it, be presented with a list of devices. You can just tap one and then it will push the content onto that other device. If for example therefore you have another phone connected to a TV you can force the picture from your Sony onto that phone so you don't even have to leave your couch making the most of wireless technology. Thanks for watching. So that's been a really quick set of tips. Now We've just got a quick couple of bonuses for you as well. First one has to do with themes. As you can see, we're really enjoying this smoky theme in the background, but what if you don't like white, find it a bit boring? Just long press the home screen, select themes, and Sony have actually got a whole array of colors suited for your personal preference. So if we tap on blue, for example, we've had that change to blue. And these highlights can be seen throughout the user interface. As you can see, the text and the accents are slightly blue. And then other one, if you want to pinch your screen, you're presented with all your widgets. Give the widgets a shake and they fly all over the place. You can exit this mode by just pressing exit overview. Or if you want to go in on a widget, you can just tap the widget and it will take you to that home screen. Our final, not quite tip, but additional tip comes in the form of the lock screen. If you want to play your music when you're in the lock screen, just a swipe of the clock and it'll tell you no tracks available or the last play track and you can just press play to play it. So that's been our top five with an additional three for good measure. Thanks for watching Recombu. For more on this and other handsets, just check out our website.